special guest here, so let's welcome them. What do we say? Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Hello. My name is Matt, and this is Sagar, and we're from CKO Kickboxing. Do you guys know what kickboxing is? No. What's your name? It's boxing, but you kick it. Yeah, exactly. You do some boxing, but you use your feet too. That's perfect. What's your name? It's like, it's like, almost like, <laughs> almost like what? Perfect, yeah. Do, yeah. Everything we do, we want, want to do perfect, right? Whether it's in school or it's in recreation or sports, right? What is your question? Yeah, you can use your hands and your feet with it. What do you have? Maybe a little bit like wrestling, right? And sometimes they take some discipline from wrestling and they add it to it. But the fundamental of all of it is discipline. And that's sort of something that I know you guys all learned about, right? Yeah. School discipline, right? Very good. Following rules. Yeah, yes, well, I was thinking that you must be thinking that why did we bring Matt and Sato here if they are from sick boxing, right? We're going to teach you how to fight, right? Oh. <laughs> no. no. So what are we learning about today? What were we learning about today? Raise your hand. Confidence, that's right. What's another word that we learned today? Exactly, you have to be an upstander. What's another word for that? So we're talking about communication. What's another word that we learned how to be confident? What's the word starting with letter A? Sounds like... Assertion. Assertion. Being assertive, right? Very good. So Matt and Sagar are here to maybe talk a little bit about <coughs> being confident, how you can show with your bodies, how you can look confident and feel confident, and be an upstander. So we're going to let them start the show and yeah. teach us. Well, so we want to talk about confidence and being assertive, right? So. What is something that we can do, but maybe not verbally, not with our mouths, not with um, talking, to show that we have confidence? What could we do? This young lady had her name, her hand first. Showing it, showing stuff with your hands. Yeah, what, well, where we're putting our hands, right? A lot of times, I'm like, if I put my hands behind my back or in my pocket, I'm showing someone that I'm not confident or I'm unsure of myself, right? Um, a lot of times, we can be looking down at the ground and not looking and making eye contact with the people in front of us. That could show maybe a lack of confidence. And we want to show that we're confident and assertive and we're positive people, so those are all good things to do. What else could we do with our bodies to show that we're assertive? Can we see your stand up very simple? Right, with our shoulders back, proud, with our chest out, our chin up. Anybody else? What are you going to say? Same thing? Very smart, good job. Yeah, there's a lot of things that we can do with our bodies to give the people that we're interacting with a positive and confident message. Dogs. Raise your hand, dogs. Right, so dogs, you ever see when a dog's scared or a dog's barking? And if you get scared and you get nervous, the dog becomes even more scared. But if you actually ignore that dog and give your back to that dog and do other things, the dog goes, wow, they're not interested in me. They're not threatening. Okay, that person's cool. That person's easygoing. So we're showing that dog with our body and the way we're acting that we're not a threat, that we're very calm and we're approachable. And then the dog becomes comfortable. So if you show people through your body language that you're confident, you're assertive, you're in control of your emotions and your actions, you're disciplined, then those people are going to go, oh, I get a pretty good feeling from that person. You know, and they're easy to welcome you into their circle show confidence and we give respect through our actions and how we talk with our eyes and our body, people will feel that from us and they'll return the same. Right? What's some other ways that we can show that we're confident and assertive? Okay. Well, how about thinking about others first? A lot of times we think about a situation, how is it going to affect me? What is going to happen if I do this to me? But we could start thinking about our actions of if I do something, how will it affect the person next to me? Will it make my friend happy if I do this? Will it make my teachers feel happy if I do a certain thing? That's another way we can help show confidence and then be assertive by thinking how our actions will make others feel. 
So it's very important to think about other people when we do things too. And that will help make your classmates and your teachers and the people in your community feel comfortable about you too. Right? Maybe something as simple as letting somebody go through a door first, holding a door for them, um, offering up your seat to someone that comes in, maybe making space for a classmate to sit next to you. Right? All those type of things are welcoming, and make people feel happy and accepted, and they're showing that you're being assertive by your actions. So in kickboxing, the number one rule is discipline and following rules. And I saw right here, we have give me five, right? There's five things that you guys can do. And what do these five things turn um, tie into for you? The well, basic mm -hmm. for... This is to show respect to any speaker, whether it's us, whether it's our student volunteers, or we have a speaker sharing something. We want to make sure that the whole body is listening. So when we say the whole body listening, we are talking about these five things. So each time we want to get their attention, we say, give me five. And they all show in the air, they show their hands in the air, not saying it, but showing that they are looking at us, they are listening to us, that their hands are in their lap, they are sitting crisscross, and what's the last thing? That our mouth is sealed. We are not talking when someone else is talking. So give me five is all about being respectful to each other, to show our, to show that we are kind towards each other. We're paying attention. I love this, and that's all nonverbal communications. And right, we talked about eye contact. So when I can see your eyes, I know you're listening to what I'm saying. Right, I know that you're paying attention and being respectful. Even sometimes when it's hard, because maybe we're not so interested in the topic and we got a lot of things on our mind. We just try extra hard to show that person some respect and hope that they would do it for us too, right? And then mouths closed, right? There's tons of ways we can communicate to people with not using our mouths. And you guys all pointed out a lot of nonverbal communications that were very good. And I'm very impressed because you guys are very young and you know a lot of things that some adults struggle with and don't use all the time. So I'm very happy and proud of you. Um, your hands are still, right? We're not fidgeting. And then when you need to, you know, talk or let somebody know that you have something you have to say, you raised your hand and you waited. That was excellent. Your ears were listening. Most of you have your legs crossed. That's a fantastic job. And then we have, just like you have your five basics here in kickboxing, we have some basics too. And a lot of it is nonverbal, right? It's not what we're saying, but it's what we're doing with our bodies. Um, where are our feet? Where are our hands? Is our chest up nice and proud? Is our chin up? What is our breathing like? Are we breathing in through our nose, exhaling out through our mouth? So there's, just like you have five basics, we have some five basics. And that all ties into a successful outcome and being assertive and confident in what we do. Is everybody having a good day today? Yeah. Um, Ritu, would it be okay to maybe take them through some exercises that they Absolutely. can do? Absolutely, I think they'll love them. Jay, nice to meet you. And yours, sir? Chisa. Very good. You looked me right in the eyes. How about you, young lady? Megan, you looked away, but you're a confident person, Megan. Put those shoulders back, say, hi, Megan, nice to meet you. <laughs> What's your name, unicorn? Arapita, nice to meet you. How about you, sir? Rishi. Rishi? I know a Rishi. <laughs> nice to meet you. How about you? Siddharth. What is it? Siddharth. Siddharth, nice to meet you. Thank you for making eye contact. How about you, sir? Be minded and talk to people you don't know. Say hello. And I think a lot of times when we get older, what happens is, right, soccer just graduated high school and you said, he doesn't need to know these things, right? He's in high school. But he needs to remember them more because if he's doing some of these things, it's going to be easier for him to make friends and meet people, right? If he forgets about that as we get older, we forget the things that we learned when we were young. That could make it harder too. Young man. Good. Let me do two jabs, one cross. Good. Two jabs, one cross. Good. Let's add two jabs, one cross, one hook. Good. Let's go faster. Good. Good. Shoot that cross out there nice and long. Good. Again. Good. Let's go jab, cross, hook, upper. Good. Again. Good. Faster. Good. Faster. Good, Mr. Sagar. Let's go for two crosses, one hook on the lead. Cross, cross, hook. Good. Cross, cross, hook. Good. Double that hook up at the end. Cross, cross, hook, hook. Good. Come find that pad. Cross, cross, hook, hook. Good. Give me all uppercuts now. From the uppercuts. Good. Upper, 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 upper. Learn assertion 
I learned to be proud. I learned to make eye contact, and I learned to respond when I was spoken to. That's another good thing. We talked a lot about uh, nonverbal communication. When someone talks to you, you should respond. That's another side of respect. Okay? All right, let's hear from Mr. Sager. Come here. She was the first one to guess 11, and it was 11, so come on in. You don't want to? Can you pick a friend for us that treats you with respect? Who treats you with respect? Krishna. Krishna, come on up. to someone who's being mean or is being um, aggressive, right? So um, Adviko was more, showed more of a passive approach, and she didn't really stand up for herself, and she didn't say anything. She kind of just let it happen. So can anybody tell me why? <laughs> Excuse me? That was so rude. Why did you cut me? Because I'm hungry. Okay, I'm hungry okay. too. other and you know everybody got back to their spot in line and there, nobody was hurt or anything like that so it solved the problem without any problems and it solved it quickly